Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. I hope everyone's having a trippy Tuesday. If you watched yesterday's episode, we looked at some possible evidence that a massive DLC is heading to single-player mode in Grand Theft Auto V, and that is because we have Sean Fontino, the voice actor of Franklin, talking about how he's working hard on a DLC project, and they cannot wait to get it out. But we have not heard about any DLC coming to the game, especially starring Franklin. Has it been canceled? Or is it going to be so massive that they have yet to even announce it or let us know? There was that new secret mission hidden in GTA Online, and I think that that is a precursor of what's to come. That said, a lot of people left a comment on yesterday's video saying, Trippy, what are you talking about with all this sci-fi stuff? We just want to do more heists and more GTA stuff. We don't really need aliens and UFOs to take over San Andreas. And I know for some it may be hard to believe, but I'm still looking at the success of Red Dead Redemption's DLC, The Undead Nightmare. That thing was so popular. Considering the game is three years old, I think it would blow up all over again. You would see it be the number one live stream game on Twitch. Everyone would want to play the new Alien game modes. I think it would be both in single player and GTA Online. So everybody would win. That said, it is just a theory, even though we have plenty of evidence to suggest there's something big on the way. So as always, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Subscribe if you're new, but we have some more things to talk about in this episode. I'm gonna bring in our French connection, Chiliad Mystery Hunter Giamenti, to get into some crazy stuff, guys. So check this out, let's get trippy. That would be a genius move by Rockstar. We know how big Grand Theft Auto V already is. It's the biggest game by far of all time. But it really is just for people who love driving games or shooters, um, realistic type stuff, maybe people that want to fly around. All that stuff is cool and all, but there's another brand of gamer that really loves games like Halo, um, Destroy All Humans. Those games have proven that the UFO gameplay, the sci-fi gameplay, people love that. And the fact that you can mold it right into GTA V change nothing. That would bring in a whole new spectrum of fans to the to the game. I mean, think about how many people who don't want to play GTA. You know, you have these nerdy people who don't play GTA. I'm not going to play GTA. Now I'm going to go play, you know, some kind of uh, RPG or something like that. Well, if you bring in aliens or something, you know people like that who only want to play, you know, maybe a game like uh, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. You know, they won't play GTA, but they'll play Horizon. That kind of yeah. gamer would jump into GTA if they had aliens. If you had a UFO taking over Los Santos, you're going to have so many people that are going to want to try it out. With the gun running DLC, it's kind of military DLC. It's had nothing to do anymore with GTA. We are in another level already. GTA is at least gangster stuff, but nothing to do with military stuff. Yeah, not until now. Yeah, we had it a piece of it in GTA San Andreas with the Black Project, but that was it. It was not more more deep in it, you know. It was just okay. We got a military secret weapon, and it was really amazing. But that's it. Here it's look like they want to be more deep in that. Yeah, I mean, kind of like we said, it, it at least seems like they're setting up for it because we have the bunkers. They've given us the bunkers. We have no reason to have them yet. Why? Yeah, why? And why you are talking so much about Apocalypse, about Doomsday? It's not normal. As we said also before, the way that Ned Luke and Sean Fontaine are now playing, Ned Luke did a video talking about the jetpack. Oh yeah, traffic in New York. Gotta love it. Two hours to go 30 miles. I need a jetpack. The day after, Sean Fontaine did one also. Hey, Ned, come on, let's go, man. Grab your jetpack, I mean, your backpack, man. Let's roll. <laughs> All right, man, I'm coming. Like, you did it like you, you make a mistake. You don't make a mistake with the word jetpack. It's not a word that you use in real life, so if you use it, it's a purpose. Yeah, we were talking about that as, as they were kind of messing with us. If they do have a non-disclosure agreement, and that's kind of their way of showing us that it does exist. There's something else to find there. Either that or they're trolling. But I think with them probably doing some motion capture, that is why they mess around with us and they let us know that maybe there's something more to find in the game. But that's, that is crazy how they were together 
and they were uh, giving us hints. Why were they together in the first place? You think they're recording something, possibly an upcoming DLC? It's possible. I remember back in the day, it was some uh, after the release of GTA, it was some uh, some other picture that came out like a few months after, and talking talking about uh, Sean Fontaine recording some scene for an upcoming solo DLC. I don't know if you remember those pictures, and he was in, in motion capture uh, bands and, and stuff. Yeah, I remember that. So yeah, I think perhaps they're uh, maybe they're perfecting something that was already in the works. You know, maybe they had to go back and and finish some stuff off. Uh, no confirmation, but it's a little suspicious that they were together. I doubt that they were just hanging out. They must have been re together for a reason. But at the moment, I, feel, I don't know if you noticed, but they are too yeah, they are too much together. Ned Luke and Sean Fontaine are hanging too much together those time. It's it's yeah. really suspicious. Unless, I mean, there's a chance they could have been doing like a meetup with fans or some sort of Comic-Con or one of those events. I know Comic-Con was happening, but uh, I'm guessing that they were probably doing some recording because I doubt they would just hang out together. I mean, they're probably friends, but not like money this, is involved. Yeah. Time is money, so they could either be hanging out or they could be paid to be hang, you know, to be together. I'm guessing they're being paid to, to be together for something. What can also be a clue, and we were also talking about it on the last, uh, the last video, is that um, we see Michael, uh, I mean Ned Luke and Sean Fontaine together a lot. We don't see Stephen Ogg. Maybe he's not involved in there. Maybe the good way to do the story is to kill Trevor. Yeah, that's a good call. I mean, that's what I'm currently working on. We he's talked not, about he's that. Not hang, time. He's not hanging around with them. If you look at a lot of video, it's my, it's Sean Fontaine and Ned Luke. What about Stephen Ogg? It's supposed to be dead, maybe. Is that yeah? It just come now in with what you said that they are hanging too much together. It just come in my mind that yeah, but why is Stephen Ogg is not there? Maybe he don't have to be there. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind for me is that Stephen Ogg's a little bit bigger of a star. He's been in a lot of TV shows. Uh, he was even in The Walking Dead, which is huge. He was in The Walking Dead after GTA. Yeah, so he was in a lot of stuff. I'm thinking he might be a big star, so maybe that's the reason why he's not there and the other guys are. Uh, I haven't really heard of those two other guys doing anything recently. But that's just a front guess because it's, it's clear that maybe Trevor's supposed to be dead because that's what we're thinking anyways. And that's why the other two guys are involved in the DLC. I'm still thinking how to trigger what come next. Should we have to? Sh should we just wait that Rockstar release something, or should we do something already now to trigger something? It's are really tough to say because of how many different things there are involved. You know, it could be a lunar cycle, a weather pattern. There's a chance that Rockstar added something in with the gun running update along with the crashed UFO. You know, not only just adding the UFO, but adding a way to activate it. Still have nothing at the moment with Moon Cycle. No, not at all. I think the, the uh, I guess the Lunar Eclipse, you can kind of call it at, like the last sliver. Yeah. That looks a little suspicious, but it hasn't really activated anything yet. I I did some research while that uh, Lunar Eclipse, and I didn't find something special. I mean, I went to the to the Altus camp, to the military base, to Mount Chilia, uh, to the observatory. I didn't find something really suspicious. But yeah, it's kind of suspicious moment. Yeah, it is for sure. The way, because especially the way that is done, because normally a lunar eclipse, the, the moon is gonna be like red, you know, but. There is just the moon disappear from one side and appear from another, like if really something is passing in front of her, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, it's really strange. It's yeah, really no kind of blood moon or anything like that. Yeah, it's really a strange moment. It, it could be, it could be a, a trigger point. Especially because if you look at the full moon, I feel like it's pretty big. They go out of their way to make a huge moon. I think it could be a trigger point as well, especially for a new trigger point, because it doesn't seem to be a point for something in the past, something we've looked into, but something they're going to add into the game or has just been added into the game that we're trying to figure out as we speak. 
it definitely could have something to do with the moon. Um, I've been looking around a lot lately. Uh, I thought there was a chance maybe the third spider web would be added into the game. That's a little bit easier to look for because we know it's at one to two, and it's probably on Mount Chiliad because the first two are. Yeah. But as far as other discoveries to be made, very possible it could happen with the full moon. Um, I do want to point out to anybody that might be listening that wants to look for themselves, I do recommend the director mode. Um, Giovanni, I know you're on PC, so you could probably have uh, some extra tools than us console players, but yeah. really, director mode is that extra tool for some people because you can find a lot of the Easter eggs, you can actually freeze the time. So maybe that's an idea, you know, use director mode and freeze it with the lunar cycle on full moon. It and considering we talked about the beast being in the game, it is kind of like a werewolf, and werewolves are activated in the full moon. So with so much proof showing us that a DLC has been in the works, the question is now, have they scrapped it, or is it still going to get released? Keep in mind that audio that we played of Michael and Franklin, or at least their voice actors, getting together, talking about, hey man, grab the jetpack, that happened not too long ago, so maybe that is when they put the finishing touches on the DLC. Let us know what you guys think. And definitely check out the episode we put up yesterday if you have yet to see it. Because that interview with Franklin, talking about how he really wants to get this DLC out, it shows you that there's something big on the way. He's excited for it. They wouldn't just scrap it all together. But definitely let us know what you guys have in mind. Show love to GMNE. I'll have a link in the description to the full interview on his channel. Much love to all you guys. We'll have a live stream coming up a little bit after this episode, so watch out for that. As always, make sure to stay mother fucking trippy, my friends. Catch you guys at the live stream.